Control you'll probably use most is the account bar. Here you'll see all the accounts you've added to Quicken. Click on the account name to see the transactions in that account. Each time you use Quicken, click on the One Step Update button to download transactions from all your connected accounts. Click the plus button to add a new account at any time. We encourage you to add all of your accounts to get the most out of Quicken. Finally, click the gear icon to customize the account bar. Now, let's show you how to find your way around Quicken. The top window bar shows the name of the Quicken file that you are currently using and the account that you have selected if you're in an account. You'll also find the global search. Use this to instantly search transactions from all your accounts. Below the Quicken window bar is the main Quicken menu. Click this to access common features. Use the view menu to customize the look of Quicken, including turning on classic menus. Classic menus provide access to all of the Quicken features from the menu system. Next is the toolbar. Right click to customize and add a shortcut to any menu item, feature, or report. The toolbar is completely customizable. Use this for one-click access to your favorite Quicken features. Finally, the blue tab bar contains all of the main feature areas of Quicken. Planning, property and debt, small business, or rental property management. The number of tabs you see varies based upon the version of Quicken you're using. Main tabs have subsections which contain all the features within that tab. Just click around. That concludes our tour. Remember, you can press the F1 key on your keyboard at any time to get context-specific help for the screen that you're looking at. This works anywhere in Quicken. You can also choose this from the Help menu. In the Help menu, you can also find links to lots of other help resources online. And of course, you can always use our free phone support.